So the integration between Azure IT Hub and VanGrid is now GA, and Ashita is joining me on the show to tell us everything about how you integrate uh, these events that can be generated by IT Hub into the VanGrid flow. Thanks for watching the IT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, I'm here with uh, Ashita today. How are you, Ashita? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? Great, fine, awesome. I'm splendid. Uh, great. We are here to talk about the integration of Azure IT Hub with Event Grids. Yes. Right? So, and that's now GA, because it's been in, in uh, public preview for some time. Yes. And now it's GA. Yes. So what can you tell us about it? What's new and why we're doing that? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to interrupt you and sure. ask some questions. Sure. Awesome. So uh, we've been in preview for six months now. We've mm -hmm. got great feedback from customers. And we are going GA with four events. So device created, device deleted, device connected, and device disconnected. OK. What this means is that IoT Hub is now a publisher on Event Grid. So Anytime any of these uh, events occur, customers can choose what they want to do. They can automate serverless applications mm -hmm. and trigger workflows or send this, fan this uh, event out to anything they want. And uh, okay. so just to revise, EventGrid is actually fully managed eventing service, mm -hmm. which is connecting Azure services with uh, even third-party applications okay. as well as Azure services. So, so that, uh, like a pop sub system, right? Yes. That's on Azure, all the Azure, lots of Azure services are actually whether publisher, yes. whether subscribers, whether both, right? Right, okay. absolutely. So that's new. And then uh, we basically want to ensure that customers are easily able to integrate these events and they don't have to create polling mechanisms and services, maintain them, which mm -hmm. adds complexity and cost for them. And uh, the goal is to simplify IoT for customers. Awesome. Can you like tell me a couple of examples of like concrete scenarios, like from A to sure. Z, what will that integration to help you do? Yeah, so think about security and compliance. So if I'm uh, monitoring a bunch of uh, hotel buildings around the world and I want to make sure that fire sensors are in compliance, yeah. anytime somebody adds a fire sensor and registered that, uh, that to my mm -hmm. IT hub, I want to make sure that I send an email out guiding that person on the compliance uh, checklist that we have to ensure that Got we it. are always you know, uh, true to the word okay. when we're audited. So that's one. And then also if a device is reaching end of life, same uh, scenario, let's say fire sensors reaching end of life. I want to make sure that I'm able to immediately send an event out to you know, text my engineer or mm -hmm. update my operations manager in the building to ensure that they can take action to replace the device. Got it. Makes and sense. Uh, another one is uh, people really want to debug uh, an issue and mm -hmm. troubleshoot what, when their devices are disconnected. Yep. And uh, Event Grid really helps you fan that event out. And also, it's near real time. So it's really quickly alerting people mm -hmm. about uh, a malfunctioning device or whenever a device stop, stops sending data. Okay, so that integration being GA, yeah, uh, you can show us how that looks like and, sure and how we uh, get things done with event grids. So. Sure. So let me quickly walk through the event schema. Okay. So we actually have uh, four events now: schema for two events, device connected and disconnected, very similar. Yeah. So maybe you should, uh, and, and when we're here, so some people might not be super familiar with IT Hub. Mm -hmm. um, so we we might want to remind people what are the different types of things that are coming from devices into IT Hub, and then in terms of messages, and then. And yes. what's coming out of IT Hub that we are actually talking about, the events and telemetry and things like that? So basically, there's telemetry coming out, but yes. also we have uh, events coming out. So we have message routing, which mm -hmm. helps sending telemetry out to yes. uh, different endpoints like service bus topic, service bus queue, event mm -hmm. hubs, and yeah, blob yeah. storage. And event grid really helps you fan that just the events out. We don't Once. have telemetry on event grid. Yeah. So you can it's more for low latency, low frequency type events today. Yeah. Which, and, is, which is like when you think about IoT scenario, Telemetry is the thing that you imagine like a boatload of data that's right. coming in and, and that you have to, to deal with in real time yes. and then route correctly and so on. So we have specific features for that in IT Hub. Yes. Uh, event Grids is really very much about uh, you know, these events mm -hmm. are like more, not sporadic, but less frequent and in, in smaller volumes. Yes, right? exactly. And it's really the, the key is, you know, triggering something, yeah. right? So we want to accelerate that time to action mm -hmm. and time to value for yeah. customers. By Makes sense. But it's not on, hey, I have a, I have a telemetry 
data that is temperature, mm -hmm. and when the temperature goes above a certain level, uh, do something. It's not that th type of thing yet. Not yet. Right. Yeah, okay. and you can do that in routing today. You can have rich queries that say, you know, could query mm -hmm. on the message body and yeah. then send that data okay. up. But with okay. events, uh, event grid allows uh, filtering on device ID today. So you can yeah. actually say, if my temperature, uh, you know, device is like type temperature mm -hmm. or named temperature, then yeah. you can send that event okay. out. Okay. But only the event, yeah. Okay, okay. got it, makes sense. Great. So uh, this here is the schema for device connected. And every event that comes out of Event Grid is wrapped in this envelope that Event Grid puts. Uh, okay. So basically, we have an ID. Every event will mm -hmm. have a unique ID. Yep. A topic, which is the ARM path to the resource group, mm -hmm. that is um, in this case, it's going to be your IoT hub. Okay. Subject is, you know, who's publishing the event. So it's going mm -hmm. to be our devices. Event type is the type of event. So unique identifier again. So device connected is this event. Event time is when the okay. event occurred. Okay. Data is something that the publisher sets. Now, in this case, we have set the data to be um, sequence number. Okay. So we've uh, we've noticed that cu some customers actually want to know the sequence of device connected and disconnected. Mm -hmm. It's really important when if it's too frequent, you know, they need to know that uh, they may be taking actions and they want to ensure that the action is you know, a device was connected before it chose disconnected. Yes. So what we've or done. Or maybe you have a collection of devices and you want like device A to be on yes. before device Z and, yes. and so forth. Yes. So it oh, helps yeah. you maintain yeah. a latest state, uh, you know, connection Makes state sense. of the device. Makes sense. And what this is is a simple string which is uniquely and strictly increasing. Okay. So every next event will actually have yeah. a higher. So people just have to do a simple string uh, compare. Yeah. And then they have the latest event. Makes sense. Uh, we've also added the hub name and the device ID and the module ID okay. to keep things uh, unique. And then the schema for device um, created and deleted. Same thing on the top, topic, subject, event type, okay. event time. Data here will have the twin of the device. Oh, nice. And okay. then uh, we have also simply added the hub name and the device ID. Okay. So, Let's play with this now. So what I want to show here quickly is um, I'm going to send myself an email anytime a device is created or deleted. Okay. And this is just playing with the security and compliance okay. scenario. So here's a logic app that I've created. I simply have a HTTP request. Mm -hmm. And I have added the schema for my device created event to be parsed by this logic app okay. so that I can grab all that and add an action of sending an email. Mm -hmm. In that email, I have put details from my uh, schema, like okay. my device ID, okay. this event occurred at this time, and typical, then an email. Typical logic apps. Exactly. Okay. And then here's my email. I want to show that it's all empty. No, nothing in the inbox. <laughs> <laughs> the Magic happens soon. That so, <laughs> so uh, this is my IT hub now. All I have to okay. do is uh, click on events and then create an event subscription. And that's that's the actual integration yes. of event bridge, right? Okay. Exactly. Makes sense. So this is extremely simple here. All I have to do is say what is the type of event uh, endpoint type I have. Okay. I'm going to have a webhook. Actually, let okay. me scroll up here a little bit. So here's where I'm saying I want to choose all type of events. So okay. I can have all four different events mm -hmm. and trigger this logic app anytime that happens. Okay. And then I want to select an endpoint. And my endpoint is going to be the HTTP URL of my logic app. Got it. And then we paste that here. So all that are feature. This is a feature of VentGrid, right? Defining the endpoint yes. type mm -hmm. and and uh, and uh, the actual endpoint of some yes. th some things that are uh, exposed through that plate, but that's that pure pure VentGrid. Exactly. Yeah. This Got is it. owned by VentGrid. Okay. And then uh, so basically, giving the subscription a name. My event schema is VentGrid schema. You yep. can actually choose different things. Mm -hmm. And then the filter. So here, this is. Um, I just let's say I want to pick. Um, Every time a device is on floor one, only yep. then I want to, you know, filter this. So I'm just—you mm -hmm. can have a prefix and a suffix on the device ID mm -hmm. here. So boom, here I am now creating my event grid subscription and. Great. So now let's uh, test this. So yep. we will create a device, add a new device. Yeah. And I'm gonna name it device temp building three. Floor one. Yep. So I'm adding floor one because that's the filter that we added, Correct. and I want to get notified only when floor one uh, has a new device. Okay. So as soon as I save this, now we can see that we have our device here. Yeah. I'm expecting an email. 
also. And so the flow has been that um, you've been creating that device, IoT have created the device in the device registry. Because we have the event grid integration, it will actually trigger mm -hmm. the webhook yes. that has been hooked up Absolutely you know, right. as, uh, in, in, in the event grid blade, right? Yeah. And now you have the yeah. email. And it's near real time. So okay. I want to make sure that, you know, floor two is uh, when a floor two device is deleted, I do not get this email. So I'm okay. going to do two things. I'm going to actually delete a floor one and a floor two device. Okay. And you will notice that I only get the filter really one. Works. Yes. Okay. One new email about this first device for building yes. one. And hit refresh. And now you there only have go. one new email. So awesome. we only deleted floor one. So awesome. that's how easy, easy it is to use. Okay. So we so help people use it and uh, they can go to ak.ms slash IoT Hub events for more information. Perfect. And we'll add the link in the comments. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks for Shida, Shida and, and uh, hope to see you soon for more on Event Grids and other integration to IoT Hub. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for watching the show and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Thanks.